Yo, what's going on, guys? It's Houston Sports Talk back in another video today. And today, the Houston Astros have crushed the Texas Rangers um, in the Astros' second home. As the, or sorry, did I say the Houston Astros? I meant the Arlington Astros beat the Texas Rangers. Um, I'm sorry. Uh, the Astros get a win 10, 10 to 3 in game four of the ALCS. They tie the series up at two apiece. I mean, what a performance from our Astros today. I mean, um, you know, everybody was really in the lineup again. I mean, everybody um, except Martin Maldonado and Kyle Tucker, um, the two guys that have been the worst hitters to the Astros in the postseason, which with Kyle Tucker, I mean, he was one of our, if not, I mean, with how good Yuri Alvarez in the postseason, you'd think he would have been he, he would have been the best hitter for the Astros in the regular season. But no, really, Kyle Tucker was the best hitter for the Astros in the regular season. Although Jordan did miss a lot of time. I, th I think Kyle Tucker and Jordan Alvar Alvarez were, were pretty even in in the regular season. Although I think it is pretty fair to mention that Jordan did miss some time um, or a couple months with an injury. So um, maybe you could say Jordan Alvarez did have a better regular season. But Kyle Tucker had a, big, a, a very solid regular season. He's been terrible in the postseason. He went 0 for 5 today. But besides Kyle Tucker and Martin Maldonado, everybody in the lineup really had a good day. I mean... You know, seven of the the other seven besides Maldonado and Tucker had a hit, um, and multiple players had multiple hits. I mean, Altuve had three, Dubon had two, Jordan had two. So uh, this was a very good day for the lineup for the Astros. But I will say, I'm gonna still say what the Astros. I said this yesterday, um, and I know it, it's different now because the series is tied up at two. But still, take this one game at a time. Um, I'm nil. I'm still not 100% confident in this series for the Astros. And the only reason I say that is I believe the Astros need to win tomorrow. Um, because if the Astros don't win tomorrow and they go into Houston down 3-2, I just, I'm not confident in the Astros winning two games at Minute Minim Maid Park, which is something before the regular season. If you would have said to me, you know, Astros going down 3-2, you know, it, you know, Minute Maid Park, the Astros got this in the bag. I'd say, yeah, for sure. I mean, I mean, obviously, there's not, you know, where the odds are stacked against us down three two, but Mid May Park is, you know, that's where the Astros thrive at. And um, this season, that's not been the case. The postseason, with we're one in four, the postseason when it when it's been at Mid May Park, or maybe one in three. I mean, we played two two games. Yeah, we're I think we're one in three in the postseason um, at Mid May Park. So. Um, and we were, you know, what, 79 and 82 in the regular season. So, you know, I do believe, you know, if the Astros win tomorrow, I could see the Astros winning a game in Minute Maid Park, whether that's a game six or whether that's a game seven, I could see the Astros winning at Minute Maid Park. But if the Astros were to drop tomorrow's game, which I don't see the Astros doing with how hot they are at, you know, Globe Life Field right now, and they've basically owned the Texas Rangers at home, I mean, look at it. I mean, they're, you know, they've won what I think they're nine and one or eight and one at Globe Life Field this year, uh, including the postseason. So, I don't see the Astros losing tomorrow. But the only reason, what I will say is, if the Astros do lose tomorrow, I'm not confident going back in Houston down th two to three. But I do think the Astros will win tomorrow. Uh, going into going into you know Game Five, I think the Astros win it, and then the Astros would be up three two going back to Minute Maid Park, and the Astros would only need to win one game instead of two. So uh, that would be way more comfortable for the Astros to only have to win one game at Minute Maid Park con compared to two. And then if you do that, you're back in the World Series again for the third straight time, and for what the fifth fifth time in the last seven years right yeah fifth i mean we've been uh this well, yeah this would be the fifth time in the last seven years i believe so um so yeah it would be great for the astros to find their way back to the world series and i believe the astros will be able to do that though um i just very nervous about it though all right getting into today's game though the astros do win this one 10 to 3 Let's get into the scoring summary. The Astros dominated this game early on, although the Phillies did make a little bit of a comeback in the second and third inning. But then the Astros uh, didn't let them breathe for long because the Astros put it away in the fourth and seventh inning. Uh, so first inning, the Astros put on three a three spot in the in the first. Uh, Bregman with a triple to center. Altuve scored and Dubon scored. Um, and it's two to zero. Then first inning, Alvarez single to center. Bregman scored at three zero. But then Tolis Garcia crushes one to center, three hundred seventy nine feet. It's three to one. Then Josh Young in the last game, 
or the game before yeah oh no yes yesterday uh, in game three had two two home runs two two run shots and hit a sacrifice this game he had a sacrifice fly uh garver scored but then how about Corey seager tying the ball game up in the third inning home run to left center 401 feet and it's tied up at three but then Jordan Alvarez nearly hits a grand slam for the Astros to give them a 7-3 lead. But that's okay because after Jordan hits a sacrifice fly, makes it 4-3. Jose Abreu clears those bases anyways and hits a home run to left center. So the Astros do get those run runs back. It only took one batter. So uh, the Astros got those runs anyways, but would have been nice for you know, you're on to get that grand slam uh, with how dominant he's been in the postseason. But Jose Abreu has been great in the postseason as well. And he can do, continues to do that. 438 feet, second deck. Altuve scored and Dubon scored at 7-3. Then how about Chas McCormick, his first home run of the postseason, seventh inning home run to left center, 3 192 feet. Jose Abreu scored. It's 9 to 3. Then Jordan Alvarez keeps it going with the RBS single to right. Altuve scored 10 to 3 in the eighth. The Astros are averaging nine runs per game um, at Globe Life Field this season as well. All right, Altuve, three for four. Um, he is dominant when playing at Globe Life Field. Uh, three, three for four day, first inning, double to shortstop. Second inning, single to right. Fourth inning, walk Maldonado to second. Eighth inning, double to left. Dubon, two for five. First inning, single to center, Altuve to third. And then fourth inning, single to right, Altuve to second. Uh, Maldonado to third, bases loaded. And then and that was it for Dubon. Uh, Alex Bregman, one for three. Besides his RBI triple, Bregman did do much. He did get a couple walks in this game. Um, second inning had a walk. Get Altuve to second. Sixth inning had a walk, but that was it for Bregge. Two for four for Jordan. Man, did he he have a good? He had a great game in this game. First inning single to center. Bregman scored RBI single for Jordan. One RBI. He had three RBIs in this ball game. Um, and then second inning field of choice, not that great of an at-bat from Jordan. Uh, Altuve does get to third. Bregman's out at second. So Jordan gets to first, and there's runners on the corners for the Astros in the second. And then the fourth inning, Jordan nearly hits a grand slam, sacrifice fly to center. Maldonado scored Altuve to third. RBI for Jordan, though. Sixth inning, ground out to third, not a good at-bat for Jordan. Then a eighth inning, RBI single to right. Altuve scored. Mr. October is amazing, batting 420 in the postseason. Jose Abreu, one for three. Besides his home run, not much. Had two walks. Seven. I mean, it kind of looked like I. You know, obviously they didn't intentionally walk him, but it felt like the Rangers were not trying to pitch against Jose Abreu in the seventh and eighth inning. They he had two walks in the seventh and the eighth. Alvarez the second on that second walk. Tucker 0 for five. Don't even want to talk about him. This is very disappointing. Chas McCormick one for four. First inning walk for Chas, and then a home run in the seventh inning to get. Uh, Jose Abreu home as well, 392 feet for Chas. Jeremy Pena, one for four. He had an infield single in the first inning, did load the bases, but guess who comes up? Martin Maldonado. That's disappointing. I mean, obviously, Dusty's not going to take him out in the first inning, but he struck out swinging with two outs with the bases loaded. That's That was Maldonado's fourth at-bat with the bases loaded in this series. It's like, it's terrible timing for this team, too. I mean, he did come through yesterday with a two-RBI single, um, but he is... is I mean, it's, it was just the only time he's he. It's just terrible timing and luck for the Astros to for him to come up with the bases loaded. Um, just like get get a walk, knock in a run, and bring up Altuve. But um, no, he struck out swinging. Fourth inning, he did get a walk, but that was it because he would end up striking out again and grounding into double play. Um, I literally called it when this when when I saw Pena at uh, first. I I said. Um, yeah, Maldonado was going to ground into the double play right here, and then he did it like the next second. And then ninth inning, he grounded out to shortstop. Maldonado 0 for, 0 for 4. He did score a run in this game, though, um, and he's batting 182 in the postseason. All right, um, so the Astros pitching today. Jose Urquidy, so we didn't get that Jose Urquidy we got in game four of the ALDS or the, the Jose Urquidy we saw against the Arizona Diamondbacks in the last series. We got the Jose Urquidy we got throughout the regular season. Uh, he pitched the first two innings and then only got one out of the third inning, five hits, three earned runs, one walk, and one strikeout. I will say the Rangers have a much better lineup than you know what the Ast- what you know Jose Urquidy has dealt with in his last two starts with going up against the Twins and the Diamondbacks. That's no disrespect to the Diamondbacks or the Twins. Both teams have great lineups um, in both teams, but and, and two good teams. But 
um, the Rangers lineup is much better. And Jose Arquiti kind of struggled against them today. And his pitch count got a little bit high with 54 pitches. And uh, they, in, in only the third inning, the Astros decided to pull him. Ryan Stanek would go for the rest of the third inning and was able to get the inning done in one pitch off of a double play. Amazing double play for the Astros. And uh, then Hunter Brown would pitch the next three innings. He came up clutch for the Astros. This is Hunter Brown we've been wanting to see all season, um, especially when it's great when it's the postseason. Hunter Brown would go on to pitch the fourth, fifth, and sixth inning, giving up two hits, two strikeouts, 33 pitches. Great great run by Hunter Brown. And Phil, Phil Maton would pitch the seventh and eighth inning, giving up one hit and two strikeouts. And great job by Phil Maton. And then Rafael Montero would pitch the ninth inning, giving up one walk with a strikeout. So great job by this Astros pitching as well. Great win for the Astros as they went 10-3. to Now the Astros have a chance to take a lead in this series tomorrow as first pitch will be at 4-7. That's the video. Hope you guys enjoyed your thoughts, and peace out. Go Astros.